when I got my new job, it's just over a year anniversary since I moved, my salary increased. But I kept the car that I'd had for two years that I bought outright. And it basically runs on on fresh air now. My, my road tax is really low. My insurance oh, is really low. Good for you. My payments. But the temptation was massively there oh, to, yeah. to, to upgrade. But I kind of told myself that until I hit my kind of next financial milestone that I'm happy with the car that I've got and I don't do tremendous amounts of driving and I think it links back to that values piece that we spoke about Mm -hmm. earlier which I think so vital people have awareness of it I've got friends that have much better cars than me that I know financially aren't in the same position as me Mm -hmm. but it's a high value for them they're like Mm -hmm. I want to drive this Mercedes or this BMW to this uh, like uh, with this Mm -hmm. spec on it and it makes me happy and I'm like okay brilliant well I'm pretty calm as long as my like I've got I've got a nice Volkswagen Golf. It's very standard, and as long as it gets me A to B and it's pretty safe and it's clean and it looks tidy and nobody's like oh my god I can't believe he's driving that then I'm then I'm 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 pretty comfortable. Katie. Whereas, I love it. Whereas I think if I reassess my values, the house and the flat that I live in is far more important to me. So I'd much rather assign more capital towards me too. that because I spend more of my time here. I work from home regularly. I record my podcasts here. Um. Exactly. I'm very house proud as well. So I think mm-hmm. when you look at where you spend your money, particularly in the big fixed ones, you don't need to pick one of the two, but you need to be aware of like what's going towards each. And even if my financial situation improves again, say I get another bonus this year, which is looking on track, fingers crossed with my performance, then, then I need to make sure that I'm understanding where I want to put that. Do I want to invest a little bit more? Do I want to, or do I want to spend it on a luxury or a, or a liability?